Hello friends, I've had someone watch one of my videos about how to do a time lapse uh, in Premiere Pro with GoPro uh, photos. And this fellow here, Jeffrey, Jeffrey B says, this doesn't work for Mac, something you should have specified. So there is a video here, how to make a time lapse. Uh, and he says it doesn't work on a Mac and I should have specified it. So he's chastising me a little bit and he's dot, 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 dot. So <laughs> I thought I'd go ahead and show that it does work on a Mac. No hard feelings about this, but for those of you who may have been uh, confused about how it works on a Mac, I'll go through it on a Mac. It should be said that I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro uh, 2017 CC version, and I'm using a Hero 5 time lapse that I shot. Here's where I, uh, this is the folder that I made. This is where I got them from. This is still on my actual GoPro uh, little SD card. So the 100 GoPro has the whole time lapse in it that I shot. It's just shot off of a porch of some clouds going by. So I copied this entire 100 GoPro folder. I'll cl close this up now over here to this. And so it's inside a folder. I've created a Premiere Pro, um, you know, sequence, not sequence, but uh, project called GoPro time lapse. And so I'll show you kind of how I do this. I can close this now at this point or minimize it. So you're going to go over here now. Again, I'm using the editing CS 5.5 view. If your view is different, it's not a problem. You can, you'll still have the same things. You'll have your place over here where you bring your assets in or it might show up somewhere else. I like the editing 5.5 view, which you can get if you go to my website. I even have a setup for it, the one that I prefer. This is one that us old school people have been using Premiere for a long time. This is the way Premiere always used to look. This is the way I like, still like for it to look. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to import file. And import or I could do command I for import now I'm already inside the GoPro 100 folder but let's go back outside of this for a second so when you come into your project you'll have this you'll have the folder that you brought in I always usually just double click on this and open it up and uh, let me bring this up a little bit so you can see it you see down here you have options let me pull this on here where you see it's a little better down here under options uh, well first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you got all these in order from first to last now a lot of times when you bring it up it, it may be set by date modified it may be set by size it may be set by kind it, may, it needs to be by name yeah so so be sure you haven't got this you know crisscross some different way if you if for some reason you were to pick the last image first it will not come in you want to pick be sure that you're in alphabetical order right and so here we go 16 17 18 19 20 it has to be the first one you click that you got image sequence. Be sure that's checked down here. And you say import. And boom, here you go. Now it says uh, that it's a JPEG, but really it's a sequence. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna right click in here. I'm gonna say new sequence. Could have gone up here and done new sequence also. And I've got 1080p 24. I'm, I probably would want this something different. Let's do something like 4K. Well, let's just go ahead and leave it like it is for now. And we'll let the um, I say okay we'll let the sequence set its own size when i pull it in here so now i've made the sequence two down here is sequence two i'm going to go ahead and pull this video down onto this on the video one and it says change sequence settings now i could leave the sequence settings the same and we'd have a whole lot of extra pixels outside of the frame but i'm going to go ahead and say change sequence settings so now we've got a big old 4000 by 3000 uh, sequence and it, is it a sequence, not a JPEG? Yeah, it is. I ha how do I know that? Hit, hit play and watch. Look at that. We got video going, folks. Now, I shot a very short time lapse, but you can see the clouds moving up here in the sky. So there you go, time lapse. Brought into uh, Premiere Pro on a Mac. No different than in the other video I did. Now, if I did want to crop this or something, this is 4,000 pixels this way. If I, if I tilled this, You'll see it's much bigger than we than we see here. Let me back this up a little by pulling a little blue thing at the bottom there. And there's what we got. See that flag flapping over here? This is a big old soybean field across from my mother-in-law's house. I'll hit stop. I'm going to hit tilde and come back out. Tilde is the little wavy key that's in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard underneath escape, ESC. So let's make a, uh, let's, let's do one of these where we can frame it and get this part of the porch, maybe this bit out over here. We can frame this up differently so it'll be a nice piece of 4K video. So I'm going to do uh, right click in here. I'm going to say new sequence. Ah, 
and let's pick a 4K. I usually like to go into the red uh, models here and pick one that's a nice 4K. Usually these work really well. I'm going to do a 24 frame per second, 16.9. We'll say OK. That'll be sequence 3. So now if I pull this sequence in here and tell it not to resize, I'm going to say keep existing settings. Now you see that one's a little bit wider though, isn't it? So this sequence, I need to probably blow this up just a little bit. So it's a little more than uh, than 4,000 than 4, pixels wide. But I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go under effect controls. I'm just going to, it's not going to hurt a bit to scale this up just a little. So I'm going to say 104. Let's try that. 104 seems to work really well. I've got some extra pixels up top and some extra pixels down bottom. If I want to, I can pull this up a little bit, frame it like that so we can see the little ball down there or something. Kind of like that. And then if we go over here and hit tilde, we've got a nice, more like a, a typical 16.9 uh, you know, bit of 4K time lapse. We hit display and there we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? Pretty sweet. Okay, so that's, uh, like I say, kind of boring in a way because not much motion going on except for the clouds and the trees. It's blowing around the tail end of Hurricane Irma at this point, so we're getting a lot of wind. So now I'm going to hit tilde and come back out of this view. I can get in here and click on this, or I could, or I could leave this one highlighted either one, and I could export my projects. I'm going to say File, um, Export Media. I've got it set to 4K. Let's pull this in so we can see it good. I'm having to resize my screen a little bit. So we have 24 frames per second progressive. That looks good. I might render it at maximum quality. And 4096 by 2304 looks good to me. And now I'm probably going to pick definitely a much higher bit rate than this. Probably about 70. That would look good, I, I would say. Maybe 80 for the top end. So I'll have a 110 megabyte um, sequence here. And we'll go ahead and render it out and I'll speed this up. Okay, so we rendered out. I uh, should be able to find this video now. If I go up here and look, ah, sequence three, there you go. 120 megabytes. It should open up in quick time. It looks like it does. Let's size it down. It's bigger than my screen. And here we go. I'll just play a little bit of it here, and then I'll play the uh, I'll play this at the very end of this video. I'll show you the 4K version so you can see how it turned out. But there you go. You can see that it's working. This I'm, I'm saving this in Camtasia Studio, so it's going to make the bit rate a lot smaller. But we'll make the uh, final version that you see at the end of this video. Uh, you know the the good quality version, so you can see how this turned out. So there you go, uh, Jeffrey B. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> it works this way, and like I say, I'm I'm. I just think it's funny when people say, you, you told me wrong. No, it's, no, it's, it's okay. It does work. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Uh, be, be, be fine for you to send me a question and ask me if something doesn't work. I just try to do these videos to be helpful to people. And if you want to chastise me, that's cool too. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks.